eyes then on the English capital as the world's elite gathered to do battle in the season-ending finale. London the venue for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Well, I'm Mark Petchett. I'll be hosting uh, today's uh, draw ceremony for the 2010 Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. It's been another memorable season on tour this year as it gets towards this dramatic finish here in London. And now the top eight singles players are poised to do battle at what unquestionably is a spectacular venue. Our top players have consistently performed all year round. Uh, we have great champions. Rafa and Roger never cease to amaze. They keep building on their records uh, and drive interest in our sport to an unprecedented level. There's no way to go wrong. You have uh, great players playing against each other in a setup that's unique. It's the only tournament that will see them actually playing each other from the beginning. To win here, you've, you've got to beat you know, the best of the best, and uh, we, we've got to have some unbelievable tennis. I mean, you know, to have players like Djokovic and, and Murray and, and Federer and Berdic and, and the whole crew playing each other in the first two days is quite amazing. For the players, it's great fun to play here in London with the crowd. Uh, uh, they show up at the O2 Arena. And there was a special invitation to Downing Street to talk tennis with Prime Minister David Cameron. <laughs> Home favourite Andy Murray taking it all in his stride. Are you a Tory, Andy? <laughs> uh, didn't give him any any tips. He said he's been getting a bit of coaching himself. Um, I actually hit a few volleys with him in there. He was surprisingly good, and yeah, he knew obviously quite a lot about tennis. He spoke quite a lot about past players, and um, he's been to Wimbledon quite a few times, so it's good. Mr. Cameron was very friendly. He was excited uh, talking about tennis and um, having us here, all of us, for the World Tour Finals, a big tennis event, obviously for for London. With the attention of the world upon them, the excitement was building for a fantastic finale to 2010. It's very nice, you know. I think this is this is great for for our sport, and I think this is this is what we need. And then, you know, uh, it, it it adds something special to this event, and I think every player really really enjoys it, and every player feels feel like they, they really want to to play good here. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the climax to another sensational year. We'll have all the action and behind-the-scenes drama from the O2 in London. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com now, available on your mobile. And keep up with all the latest news and scores with the free 2010 Barclays ATP World Tour Finals iPhone and Android app. See you next week.